How do you poop in your boyfriend's house without being judged for the smell? I mean, you already want to start lying and we're barely on the first date now. What is this thing about guys taking their shoes off? Boo, boo, boo. You asked me to come out with you. This is a piss take, okay? And it's me again guys i hope you're all doing really well if you're new here my name is anushka and today we're gonna do a little get ready flawless base glam kind of thing and i'm also going to be reacting to some of your worst dates now the reason why i wanted to do this is because you know your girl's been in a relationship since she was like 15 and i haven't really gone through that phase of like dating like that's, that's so unknown to me obviously like my friends and stuff i've done it and i just i observe i observe you know i'm a good observer but i just want to react to your worst dates i asked you guys on instagram to share them with me and obviously they will be they will be anonymous yeah so it's gonna be a little interesting up in here you know it's a little bit different to what i usually do but i think it'll be kind of funny oh my god i swear this shows us what best time to put something on the pressure cooker like okay so today's post notification shout out is gonna go to runa begum so thank you so much for the sweet comments i look like a crazy woman with my hair like this i really really appreciate it so thank you so much and if you guys want to get a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so uh let's start this base i'm first gonna put some moisturizer this is the grown alchemist hydro repair day cream Oh my god, I've been dying to film. I just missed it. Just like filming fun videos for you guys. I'm gonna use some of the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer by Benefit. Just put this on my nose. That is like my filming spot at the moment and it's taking up my filming spot. So we're gonna have to deal with the Christmas tree for now. Okay, let me go to the screenshots I took a while back. I'm actually shook at the first one. A guy wants to kiss his shoes off in bad piano and put his feet up on the table. That is so weird and so awkward. I, oh my god, and such a turn off. Ugh. That's an ick. That's an ick. I know, I know bad piano ain't that special, but it's not like that either, you know? So I'm sorry you had to go through that, honestly. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I use the shade Dark Tan and honestly this is so so nice. I actually discovered this through Jamie Genevieve because I just love her base and she uses this a lot so that's what made me want to get this and it's honestly so good. So literally I just like put it all over and it's actually got quite a bit of good coverage you know. But I just love like that glow it gives as well. This is a little bit on the dark side for me, but I'm not too bothered. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D number 10 brush because it's really good for this. So the next one is, this guy took me to a graveyard at 6 p.m. in the winter, so it was dark AF and I was so scared. Girl, why did you even say yes in the first place? Why would you go to a graveyard? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, that just should be a no from the beginning. Like, If it was me, I would have searched up the address where he wanted to meet and if it's a graveyard, I'd be, I'd be like, sorry. Actually, I wouldn't even turn up because I'm that kind of person. I'm just gonna put some more, ah! That's concealer. You can definitely build up like the coverage with this for sure. Found out that my date had an ankle monitor on the first date and didn't share food. An ankle monitor as in like from prison. I don't that's a bad thing but I swear if you have an ankle monitor you're not supposed to be out and about. Okay a guy that don't share food that's a big no because you guys don't even know how many times like I ordered something and then my husband ordered something and then I end up taking his food because I prefer what he ordered like do you guys get me? So sharing food must be a must with your other half. Cause if it ain't, then I don't know, what's the point? What's the point? He couldn't handle the spicy food and kept wiping his runny nose. I mean, that's all right, that's all right, come on. You need to give him some slack, okay? Not everybody can eat, you know, spicy food like us, okay? I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Sand. But the whole wiping the nose thing, maybe he was trying to impress you, you know? 
at least he was trying you know once guys i had those like really spicy noodles the challenge ones the korean ones in the black packet and i had it one day and the next day i went to work and honestly i tell you i i regretted it okay because i literally was in the toilet at work i bet everyone was like what is this girl doing i had to like i was like talking to my friend in the toilet i was like why did i eat such spicy food <laughs> turned up to the date and my guy just checking his phone every five minutes for the match score oh my god that is a piss take i would have been like do you want to be here or do you not want to be here because i can go the guy told me he was five seven but it turns out he was shorter than me and at five four. Oh my god do you know what i feel like for a lot of girls out there like height is a massive thing but i don't mind like my husband's like the same height if not slightly taller than me and like, i don't wear heels with my husband because i just don't like being shorter like taller than him and i get what you mean like it's a preference isn't it i'm just setting my under eyes before it starts creasing and i'm using my laura mercier powder you kind of have to like set this because it's really glowy so i just set all over but yeah i think that that's like a turn off because you because you lied about it as well. Why'd you gotta lie? But you already want to start lying and we're barely on the first date now. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, get away. Get away from me. I'm telling you guys, you need to be careful about the little lies, about little things. Because if, if it's for the little things, then imagine the big things, you know? Okay, the next one it is, he kicked off his shoes and fell asleep in the movie theater. He started snoring. What is this thing about guys taking their shoes off? Can we have a little bit of decency, okay? I know my standards aren't that high, but we need... We need a, a little bit, okay? Oh my god, that is so, that is so off-putting. Like, on a date, guys. It's already nerve-wracking enough that you have to, like, meet the stranger, like, on a date. But, like, then him going in for taking his shoes, that is so awkward to me, like, honestly. He asked me to go out with him, and when we got to the place, he said he had no money to pay. Boo, boo, boo. You asked me to come out with you. This is a piss take, okay? Because guys are always moaning, why, why do guys always have to pay? If you ask the person to go out with you, you are gonna pay, okay? It's regardless of gender. It's just being a gentleman, like, if you pay. But if you're gonna ask someone to go out and eat with you, you best be paying, mate. I mean, I have no problem paying. Like, if it was me in that situation, there's no problem paying. And I know a lot for a lot of girls out there, there's no problem for them to pay. But it's but it's one a put off. But it's just like, do you really care about me if you can't pay my food? And I know like there's a lot of girls that take their piece and go on the dates just for the free food, okay? But I don't know if it's serious, then at least pay, you know. Well, I'm okay with splitting the bill as well. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think about a situation? Do you think the guy should always pay? I think it really depends if the girl asks the guy out then the girl pays if it's the other way around the, the guy pays but if you want to be really nice about it then go on then pay for me i was tricked invite me to go eat and cinema with his friends but only he turned up that's sweet though that's not a bad day come on anyways oh i'm living for this base right now we're gonna do some bronzer i'm not gonna lie i've been loving my charlotte tilbury bronzer this is in the shade tan We need to bronze up this neck because it's looking a little pale. Ooh, the double chin is coming through, but that's okay. Give your bodies a break, guys. It's Christmas time. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We're talking about tier five, so give yourself a break. Like, let me bloody eat, man. That's all I can do. I'm not too fussed about nose contour. This is not really contouring. I mean, it gives a little bit of shape and, like, definition. But that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it. Like, I just feel like it frames it. It doesn't look, like, bare and, like plain in the middle of my face oh my god met online saw face pics of each other tra traveled three hours to first date got in the car he says guys like me guys like me can't be with a girl as big as you i only date size zero to eight max five nine size 12 then he chucks 20 pound for travel expenses threw it back left that is proper rude i'm so sorry you had to go through that i would have taken my keys and scratched the car up okay guys you don't even know me if people take the piss out of me like that you best be running miles away okay the guy wants to chuck 20 pounds at me how do you poop in your boyfriend's house without being judged for the smell i'm dead oh my god no honestly this is a real struggle when i first going out with my when i first started going out with my boyfriend like i I thought, you know, I made him believe that girls don't poo, okay? 
And you know what? At the time I was like 15, okay? So like for me it was like bare embarrassing. But you, do you know what? If I if I were to give advice, just rip the band-aid off, okay? Like just do it. The smell is smell. Like if he's a grown ass man, he would accept the fact that you can, you need to shit like everybody else and accept the smell. Whether you ate eggs or broccoli the night before, that's okay. That's what I'm telling you. If a guy can accept your poo smell, you know he's the one, okay? My day at Indian restaurant, I paid and he took the leftover food. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't, I can't. Like, he took the leftover food and he didn't even pay for it. How dare you? You ain't gonna see me again. Take your damn Indian food. He took me to watch a movie and fell asleep, awkward, and then got angry and chatted at me for having an opinion without facts. Take your stanky ass attitude elsewhere. Shouting at you for having an opinion without facts. Tell him to... Honestly, I have issues with men that think they know it all. I, I hope you, you you cut him off, okay? Delete that number, forget about it. There's too many triggers. Like, you fell asleep on a date, then shout at you for having an opinion about facts. Oh my God, that... <sighs> See, like, I'm getting nervous. Like, I'm starting to itch. Okay, guys, this Natasha Denona blush duo. I don't think there is a shade. It's just like a blush duo. Looks like that. I'm gonna put the blush. So gorgeous. I've been dying to try this. That blended so beautifully as well. And we're also gonna take the highlight in there. That is pretty. It's like really subtle, but like that's the kind of glow I love. When the guy insisted on getting dinner and decided to be on his phone the whole time. Do you know what? I feel like that could be a nervous thing maybe. Like maybe, because he's nervous, like he doesn't know what to do with himself. But like now, nah, like, have some standards like if he's gonna be on his phone on all the time then you can do that elsewhere or you can do that alone you don't need me to be it okay there's another one the guy lied about his height on insta and when we met up he was shorter he lied that's the thing he lied why you gotta lie do you think i was never gonna find out your real height it's the lie why'd you got a lie for you can't hide the fact that you're short mate okay just accept reality and own it. Is this a thing for you guys? Like, I know, like, do you prefer, like, is it like a turn off if the guy's shorter than you? I don't know. I feel like for me, like, short is a no-no. My husband's just like borderline, like, my height, but like, just like a little bit higher. He was getting food stuck in his beard and he kept staring at me eating because he finished way before. Oh my God, that is so funny. He outright said he couldn't get me a drink after dinner because he paid. I would have offered anyway. The guy was two hours late and I later found out he was married. They now have a baby together. Let's just say he dodged a bullet. I'm not gonna lie. No, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. With me and my husband, I always finish the food first because I'm just like that. But the whole like staring at me eat, I hate when people stare at me eat. This is why I prefer to just order my food and get it home so I can just eat freely. Like, I'm that kind of person. Okay, we need to do the makeup. Firstly, I said I was gonna use this gold crush shadow palette by Makeup Revolution, XX Revolution actually. But the packaging is just stunning. Some of you don't deserve what you had to go through, okay? First shade I'm gonna take is Mineral. I'm not doing anything special, guys. This colour is really nice. Oh, I know my husband now since I was 17. We got married at 22. I love that. Oh, congratulations. Guy came high on ecstasy to our date. He was sitting there twitching, but I stayed for the food. Good on you, boo. Went on a date with a guy who asked to see my arms. If they had hair, he'd, put, he'd be put off, he said. I refused to show him, not because I had hair, but that's just weird on a first date. And he carried on by saying I would pay for my girl to have laser done if she had hair. You dumb wait a minute who are you this is why this is why like people are so insecure about their hair like even when i was young i was so insecure about my hair it's not because anyone made a comment but it's just like the media and like what we've been brought up to think about hair like, everyone has their preferences we have hair naturally there but for him to, on the first day, to be talking about hair like that, you've got a problem. Like, I don't even know if he's gonna be able to find someone in his life if you're gonna think like that, mate. Someone just basically needs to <sighs> knock the sense right back into him. You know about Pay laser for you. Pay laser for yourself. Oh, I'm sorry you had to go through that. That is so, that's annoying. He started clicking his fingers to call the waitress for service. Big note, yes, you are so right. 
what the hell like that is such a put off i would have walked off like who do you think you are oh i'm gonna use the shade element so creamy this feels so buttery and it's so pigmented as well this is definitely a palette to get because it's so pretty i'm gonna take the shade quartz and put that in <gasps> Wow, look at that right in the corner. That is so pretty. Ooh. Kissed him on our first date, hated it. Now we're happily married. That is so sweet. I hope he's become a better kisser now. Like, you know, these things you can teach, you know. Like, don't let these things like definitely turn you off. Like, if you like everything about the person, but it's only the kissing, like, just you can you can improve that. You can take lessons. Don't worry, don't worry about that. My account manager asked me on a date, and he's really direct, but is really thoughtful. So, he went to kiss me, and I just walked out saying, "I can't do this." He's white, and I'm brown. So many people were staring. Now at work, it's so awkward. He's senior than me, and always tries to show me he's in control. He holds my hand and everything. I can't lie. I do like it. Do you know what? I, before I got to the end, I was going to say, this is harassment. This is sexual assault. But then you said you like it. And then that just turned the whole story plot twist. I don't know. That is so awkward. Like, that is so awkward to me. Like, I feel like relationship and work should stay separate. Like, especially if it's a manager. That just, like, you can't guarantee things will work out. And at the end of the day, he's going to stay your manager. So if it don't work out, then you're screwed. Girl, girl, you brave. You brave, I'm going to tell you that. So today, I actually got sent this telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. And I've heard a lot of things about this. I don't think I've ever tried it, though. Do you know these kind of, like, bronzy, simple eye looks are, like, my favourite? I think it gives, it definitely gives more length than anything else. Obviously I wanted to do this video where like I'm actually talking to you like as my friends because I do hold back with the way I talk in my videos. We try to keep it PG up in here but in this video I just wanted to, just wanted to talk to you guys how it is you know. But can we just, can we just establish the fact that if a guy is going to take his shoes off on a date just walk away, walk away. So we're going to try some Viev cosmetics. I've got her lip liner in the shade Bark. Ooh. Packaging is bomb. Oh my god, this is so creamy. And then I also got the lipstick in the shade coming in hot. Look how beautiful that shade is. Oh my god, I love this base, guys. Look how red I am here. Oh my god. This is like, you guys are traumatizing me with your stories. Okay, here's one from one of my friends. Met up with a guy I met at another singles party event. Went to a nice French restaurant. He then proceeds to sub, 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 subtly, subtly, subtly? I don't even know how to say that word. Subtly give me a psychological test to see what personality traits I have Clocked onto what he was doing straight away and gave him the most random answers and he he just was looking more and more confused with each answer I give I gave he then goes wow that's unique so we finish eating and start walking towards the train station he suddenly dives into an alley to throw up not a very romantic day first of all why are you trying to test me without my consent first of all i need to sign some papers before you start doing that shit that doesn't strike me as a date that i would you know look forward to again let's just say but yeah we've come to the uh, end of the video my lips are kind of dry but let's ignore that but i really wanted to focus on the base it's super simple and it's just so beautiful guys i'll do a close-up but yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video please please give it a thumbs up because it really helps the video reach many people out there so they can watch too and join the family um subscribe if you haven't already and honestly thank you so much for it to everyone that shared their stories for this video i really appreciate it and honestly it was definitely an experience for me and if you want a part two let me know honestly honestly love this lip combo definitely a fave like it's so comfortable and creamy like I actually found a lip liner that's like matte cork and yeah it's just such a nice combination and I love everything the packaging the quality she did really good on her own brand and like first products to get out there but yeah really happy with that so yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video